Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Desserts for the Weekend. Today we're going to be making this kind of geeky apple cupcakes. To begin with, we're going to be making the apple logo stencil. Look on the internet for a logo image and then I just saved it on my images on my cell phone. And from there I just took a marker and a piece of paper and I just started you know, drawing what I would see from the cell phone. And this is going to be a lot easier for you to just put that on top of your cupcake. Now I'm going to be cutting this with my scissors, just cutting the edges. So once we have all that, you know, cut it and stuff, we're going to start frosting the cupcake. For that, we need obviously a cupcake. I do have a recipe below, it's gonna be below if you wanna check it out, it's super delicious. And I'm using some whipping cream adding my whipping cream and just dragging the whipping cream towards the edges of my cupcake. Then we're just going to take the template or the stencil at this point. We're just going to put it on the top of the cupcake but without it touching the whipping cream. So in a way it's going to be flying, you know, the piece of paper. And with the other hand I'm just going to take a toothpick and I'm just going to mark the shape of my apple. Being kind of careful and as you go, you're going to find out that you need to kind of uh, remove the excess of whipping cream from the toothpick. You just have to take a piece of napkin or whatever and just remove the excess and just continue marking the shape. Once we have done that, you can see that the shape is there. I'm just going to take this kind of sprinkles. They're kind of bigger size. I was looking for the smaller size, but, but these ones are the only ones that I found on my local store. Pick smaller ones if you want to. But I'm pretty much going to be taking my tweezers that I only use for baking. I'm just going to be placing one by one. I'm not following any particular order in colors at this point. I'm, you know, whatever comes when I grab the sprinkles, whatever I put in there. And I'm just going to be first working on the edges and then the leaf. The leaf part, since it's kind of a smaller area and my sprinkles are kind of big, I did this going one to two and then another one in there. And then for my center of my apple, I'm just going to take my sprinkles with my fingers and I'm just going to really carefully and drill close to the cupcake as close as I can kind of sprinkle them in on the top because I was going to do this with my tweezers but I realized I was it was going to take me ages. So pretty much going in at first with the with my hands and you're just going to get to a point where you are going to be working with real small um, you know empty spaces. That's where my tweezers come in again. Just picking some sprinkles like individually and just placing them wherever I feel like there is an empty space. When once I was done with that, I'm just going to take my tweezers again and just start placing kind of sprinkles, but on the edges of my cupcake wrappers, like so. And in this case, I am, you know, following a particular order in the colors that I choose. I'm pretty much guiding myself from like the first batch that I made and doing that until all my cupcake, like the edges are all done. This is what it looks like with sprinkled on the edges and this is what it looks like without it. A lot of people told me that they preferred it without it, like it looks cleaner, they might be right. And a lot of people told me that they liked the, the colorful edge. I think it's a personal preference, I like both. It's pretty much up to you, I'm just showing you the two options that I thought of doing. And if I was going to be doing this again, I would definitely make that apple a tiny bit smaller because I think it's a bit too big, especially with the part that has the colorful edge. It kind of gets lost a bit in there. Let me know if you like it. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so, so much as always for your time. Don't forget to check out my blog for some photos and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.